no first year guy wants to be tied down in first year like that they want to explore those of you who may not have had as much freedom growing up don't get to university and turn into the person that has to go to every event it's after conflict that you truly know someone when you miss the morning lecture you miss the afternoon lecture then you're like you know what i just take the rest of the day or coming from a place where like all i see is white folk please i'm trying to see some black Welcome to the Mo Chunk Show and welcome to another installment of Chit Chat with Chunke. We talk about life experiences when I give you advice and all that kind of stuff. This one is a bit more educational because we're talking about uni, like the basic uni advice that anybody can give to you that you know just before you go you kind of need to just hold on to. And these were the things that I wish I kind of knew before I went to university. YouTube has only really become a movement where it is now over the past year or so, so it's very very different. So it's nice to have these kind of videos. As you guys know i'm a christian so i do like to implement my christian morals and values which brings me on to my first thing that i kind of want to say for every young christian out there that's going to university i think the first task that you need to take on is to look for a church a church that you like that you feel at home welcome in um i say this because i feel like this is definitely something that helps me throughout my whole university journey apart from the fact that i have now made friends i have now made another like family um amongst the the church people that I was with for the three years that I was in university finding a church immediately definitely keeps you grounded especially because um, university it can be a bit of a whirlwind sometimes a lot of things going on at the same time but it definitely keeps you grounded if you're a Christian before you go into uni you don't want to get to uni and then forget all about Christ and one of the easiest ways to slip off is to not go to church I know going to church does not necessarily define you being a Christian but it's definitely one of those things that you need to practice to exercise your faith a lot of people tend to put it off so some people don't actually find a good church even till the end of uni it, it, it sounds shocking but it happens you can put it off for one week one week turns into two weeks two weeks turns into one month and before you know it you're just like you know what sunday's a resting day you don't want that you want to be disciplined so let's quickly talk about freshers week so when you get into uni there's a thing called freshers week you probably know all about it already there's going to be a week or two weeks in some cases of events there will be a fresher sphere so there will be like people giving out flyers to events and all the stuff that's going on that week there will be um loads of different stands trying to convince you to join their societies so society is like a club or like something you do outside of school so social stuff so like basketball um cheerleading all different types of things depending on your university and how diverse they actually are if you are a black person a black individual please do not limit yourself to the acs so that's african and Caribbean society definitely look around for other societies that you can do sports and activities is definitely good and is something that I wish I did more of I did more of choir and other church like activities but I definitely wish I did more sports I really wanted to do cheerleading but in my university it really costs like a good 300 pounds for you to fully become a member so I really wasn't trying to invest that kind of money into into cheerleading but that was really the only sport that I was kind of interested in that I hadn't really like done properly before so quickly let's talk about social life for a lot of people university is where a lot of people become independent for the first time for a lot of people it's also where you're handling finances for the first time you're doing a lot there's a lot of first going on I kind of want to advise those of you who may not have had as much freedom growing up or at home don't get to university and turn into the person that has to go to every event and whilst you want to socialize you want to make friends you want to go out and enjoy your university experience you don't want to lose Lose track or you don't want to lose focus of what you're really there to do and that is to catch a university degree have fun but also within limits so have a social life but make sure you can balance it with your work life which also brings me on to my next point about lecture notes study patterns and assignment so if this really kind of goes hand in hand with what I kind of previously said know what you're going there to do know that you're going there to catch a 2-1 or a first class in your degree for some people a 2-2 is okay for some people that's too mediocre so kind of have in mind already what you want to gain out of your degree and what grade you want to get at the end of the day mind you it's not all about grades it's also 
sort about becoming a well-rounded individual at the end of your university experience and that's why it's also important to take part in like all these societies and if you can take on roles take on leadership roles for example in my choir I was the events manager in my second year so that's something that I can put on my CV but in regards to like study pattern I think I will actually do a full-on video because that in itself is a, is a topic on its own but if I was to briefly just describe the best way to study at university I would say make sure you are going to all your lectures that is number one that is like 10% already of your grade and it will determine how well you're going to do it's the foundation not every uni has recording facilities it's only even of recent that University of Leicester made it compulsory for every lecturer to record every single lecture so people can like watch it back on blackboard now if your university has that please do not abuse it or use that as an excuse not to go to your lectures because it will catch up with you eventually part of excelling at university also has to do with discipline and being able to get up for yes those 9 a.m lectures is part of discipline sometimes sleeping the whole day away and missing lecture can actually make you more unproductive because if you miss the 9 a.m don't go into uni until 12 o'clock that's maybe like an extra two hours of study time that you could have had and sometimes when you miss the morning lecture you miss the afternoon lecture then you're like you know what i just take the rest of the day off before you know it's let me just take another day off trust me it catches up with you and that attitude you want to cut it out or don't even allow it to even have room in your university journey be very very disciplined and try to go to all your lectures there will be times trust me because there have been days that i'm really like i actually cannot physically do it yes there are times listen to your body your physical health and your mental health matters a lot listen to your body and what it's telling you but don't be lazy and the thing is about university as well it's very you're on your own some unis are more strict than others some courses are more strict than others towards the end of my um, university degree my uni decided to start taking um, registration at the start of every single lecture with our university cards so it really depends on your university as well but as to whether they're able to catch you out because sometimes they will say something that oh you haven't been attending lectures and that can also be detrimental to your university journey not just on your grades but also your reputation as well because like I said you're not just going there for a degree you're trying to be a well-rounded individual so things like summer placements if you want to do them things like a year in industry if you're going to do that that can easily become affected when you grab a reputation of somebody that does not show up or someone that shows up late all the time when you are actually in the lecture provided that you make it to the lecture make sure that you are taking notes over the three years that I was at university this kind of varied and also depended on the lecturer that that was delivering the lecture for example if it's a lecturer that doesn't really articulate very well or is hard to understand and requires more focus I will not take notes I will record the lecture and straight after the lecture go and make my notes if you have an iPhone you have voice memos you can record like I had so much on there and they tend to go on my iTunes as well so once I'm done with them I can really delete them off my phone if really there was no memory but usually memory is not an issue there are some lecturers that you're able to grasp what they're saying because they take a lot more pauses as well as writing at the same time that is down to your discretion and how you are able to understand what the lecturer is saying there are some people that also do this thing where they're not taking proper notes in the lecture so they're just taking bullet points maybe like a word just to keep them engaged sometimes taking notes helps you to stay awake in the lecture for me personally I think my attention span lasts about 20 minutes 30 minutes on a good day I can last the whole 50 minutes which tended to be the length of my lectures but make sure those notes are being done throughout the year a lot of people are very lazy in university and they don't do their notes trust me you only have yourself to blame when it comes to like revision time and you have to start your notes from the beginning till the end and what you realize as well when you keep up to date with your notes is that your coursework actually aligns so the stuff or the material that you're learning in your lectures can actually help your coursework as well and so just think about that in terms of revision I think that will probably come in another video maybe more towards exam season I'll probably do like a revision tip type of video course mates I'm just going to talk about friendships in general so when you're at university you quickly discover that you need um, different friendship groups so you're going to need your course mates that's number one because you know degree is the priority I feel like I kind of made course mates very 
quickly and they also became my friends actually they used to go to the library a lot and i just noticed that they were quite studious you know what i want to be friends with those kind of people because I'm, I'm here to get a good grade like i had an agenda i knew i wanted to get a first class got each other's numbers but it literally started with one library date like that we all went through like the first two lectures and trust me teamwork makes the dream work like we all got through it so quickly and i was like you know what i want to keep these guys as my friends next you're going to need your flatmate now i luckily was um paired up with one of my very good friends now okay in my flat there was a flat of one two three four seven or eight of us we were paired with a lot of international students because at first i saw all the all the asian people that's so rude i know but um i saw the asian people i'm thinking how am i gonna get on with these people like coming from a place where like all i see is white folk please i'm trying to see some black and then i saw okay and i was like oh thank god and then we made friends friendships they form naturally i think everyone's always a bit scared of what's gonna happen in terms of friendship groups and who's gonna be your clique my biggest advice with that is don't force anything the friendships that i tried to force were the ones that didn't really like blossom whereas the ones that i just kind of let fall naturally or fall into its place those are the ones that lasted and are still with me today and don't go into friendships for the wrong reason so don't make friends with someone because you think they're pretty i mean okay don't let it be purely based on that off of um superficial things that won't last and when their true character actually starts to come out and that's another thing in the first week you'll meet a lot of people that seem to be something that you know you can rock with but as time goes on situations will happen you're gonna fight over boys you're gonna fight over bathroom space if you're sharing a bathroom you're gonna fight over very very petty things and miscommunication will take place trust me and that's when you will see people's true character it's not until you conflict with someone that you realize what kind of a person you are always bear that in mind with every relationship you come into so friendships boyfriend whatever it's our after conflict that you truly know someone you want to be buff squad it's not it's not that serious trust me there's more to life than looks now next thing i kind of want to touch upon is like bad gang a lot of you yeah you're coming from good homes you yourself you're a good person uni it's very easy to get lost in the source and i kind of don't want you guys to fall into that trap of going to university and forgetting who you are in life we want to all progress definitely we want to be better we want to change for the good don't go to uni and change for the worst don't join bad gang basically there's a lot of people that are already bad gang from the pit of hell what's it wrong wah? you understand that's their mission in life to go to the earth and spoil other people's children don't fall into that trap of being that sweet young girl sweet young boy go to university and become a drug addicts that's not what you went to university to do this pandemonium of weed smoking that has almost become the norm as much as people would like to play it out like it's recreational it's not just recreational because it has health implications and one of the biggest health implications is that it damages your brain cells it affects the way you can think and it also affects your productivity and it damages your finances as well it's such a toxic habit to have and there's a lot of people that end up using it as a safe haven so when university gets tough they have to smoke don't fall into the trap of oh it's, there's no harm let me just do it once da, 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 da. before you know it when you have a group of friends that's all that they do so a bad gang you will be influenced show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are that's why your friendship circle is so important especially for girls as well a lot of girls come to uni and decide to join whole gang and those are you know the pretty girls that on the surface everything looks good but if you see the amount of guys that are running through them behind the scenes you'll be very very shocked i'm not saying that i didn't have a share of my wholeness at university you know i'm not trying to be more the saint but like i mentioned with the whole smoking things when two or three of your friends are doing the same thing you're going to get influenced so if you have a friendship circle and all they do is sex at uni or all they do is uni wife or all they do is not going to their lectures trust me they're going to rub off on you and you're going to end up doing those kind of things avoid those people that will tell you first year does not count does not count trust me it does when it comes to things like applying for placements as i mentioned before and working with your lecturers trust me i was that girl that made sure almost all my lecturers knew my name not even by just sitting at the front sitting at the front that's that's minor that's um that's a learner move i'm talking about maybe arriving maybe five minutes before the lecture going to speak to the lecturer as he's, as he's setting up hi my name is mo i'll introduce myself i'll put my hand out for a handshake you know they're impressed by that kind of confidence and before you know it they will know your name trust me teachers lecturers they talk in every department there's offices so let them know you and let them know you for positivity so sit in the front ask questions 
contribute when they're asking and it's not even about getting the answer right or wrong it's sometimes just getting your voice heard getting your face known so when you're applying for extra things or you're trying to do extra things like course rep they'll know your face already you're more likely to get it over people that they don't even know who they are that's another difference compared to a class of like 30 there's hundreds of it's not easy to know everyone's face but if you make it your mission trust me you will achieve that now boys 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 i think you guys always already see this on the tl and the thing is i feel like no matter how much i say to you guys be careful you will still go and make mistakes i think those mistakes are actually what make you stronger and what makes you wiser but i'm still gonna try and you know convince you to do the right thing at the right time and please don't go and be a uni wife cooking for boys out of your own pocket as well that's number one number two finessing is life at university trust me and it's not even like these guys are bad mind or I don't know how to describe it. It's not, even like, it's not like they're bad people. It's just the age that they are at, their stage of maturity as well. Like mentally, all they're thinking of is how many girls they can run through or how many squad points they can score. I think I found out in second year that in my in my uni, uni of Leicester, there was a group chat where all of the guys were in. So it's little things like that. So they will want to chat when the man them are talking like, yeah, yeah, I did this. Yeah, that one, don't worry next week me and how we gone we're gonna get it on or last week me and Shade behind the tree just to you know score points amongst the man them so please don't fall for sweet nothings these words that they will come and be whispering in your ear trust me they will come with all kinds of different strategies let's watch a movie me and my boy were just in the neighborhood we just thought let's just pop by oh are you cooking tonight these are all the lines that we've asked bubble wear my first night in university the iron story i shared in my university experience i was very very naive i don't want you girls to go into university naive it was kind of complicated really i let him use my iron and i went to shower i was a bit dumb really i went to shower came in started creaming in the corner our eyes locked before I knew it, I was like, oh God, fucked up, got up, you know, came on to me and all that kind of stuff. So it's just being very smart and avoiding situations where you're going to have to run or you're going to have to scream because you don't want to do something or situations where you can't even say anything because a lot of girls don't know how to be vocal about what situation they find themselves in. Some girls just don't know how to say no and they'll just be silent for the whole thing and before you know it, that's another body count so just be very careful with these guys no first year guy wants to be tied down in first year like that they want to explore all right more on the finances kind of stuff um your student loan yeah the government is basically giving you free money especially back, back when we were in uni because we had a loan and we had a grant you guys now have all loans i'm not exactly sure how that works out and what you have to pay back and stuff like that but i definitely made it a thing to make sure i saved my loan and my grant so there's obviously accommodation fees that you have to pay that's a given otherwise you won't have anywhere to stay but in order to maximize your savings there's other things you can do so you have to, you have to kind of minimize your your living costs your spending obviously you're going to need clothes you're going to need books so spend when needed kind of thing and when you're doing shopping shop in cheap stores you don't have to go to the sainsbury's there's markets there's little there's african shops in almost every city try and seek them out and find them go for a big shop maybe like once or twice a month as opposed to once every week because that saves you time and money especially if you're paying for like taxis and out of my student loan i think by the end i probably saved well over a grand um let's just give an idea of how much you can make from your student loan debt, and that can go into other investments so after university some of you want to work some of you want to move out of your house mortgages marriage trust me life comes at you fast i have a job which i've kind of been doing even before uni so i worked my butt off the summer before uni to maximize and capitalize on the time you have now to make and save money you do not want to rely on your student loan alone you're going to need an extra bit of money except for if maybe you are obi or baba low and your dad is just dropping one grand per term in your account so you always need that backup i always like to have extra money in my account just in case of anything also bursaries that's another free money based on your university number one and based on your grades i got three a's and a b so i was entitled to a bursary that 
not only knocked off some of my tuition fees so i didn't pay the full tuition i don't want to go into too much details about that because that's a bit personal but it knocked off my tuition fees and it also gave me money in first and second year the first bursary i got that was what i used well half i used half of it and half of what i earned over summer to buy my macbook pro it's behind me that's why i pointed so those kind of things they really really help and also the rest of it i kind of just saved for rainy days yeah some people had a part-time job doing university i decided against that and i kind of worked during the holidays so summer christmas easter but that kind of stopped slowly slowly as uni got harder so from second year to third year i hardly worked even during the holidays accommodation is another way you can save your money a lot of people went for the big spender accommodation so on suites ones that cost five thousand my accommodation every year didn't go over like three thousand because a lot of people will say things like oh my loan doesn't even cover my accommodation i'm like in what world mine covers it and i even have a little bit of extra sharing a bathroom will not kill you in my first year and in my second year i shared a bathroom you will not actually spend that much time if you're a serious student anyway you won't spend that much time in your dorm again it's, it's really not that serious that's all i've got in my note thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like this video if you liked it share it with your friends comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more until next time guys peace and love peace and chunks